Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video of your channel Savio.io.tech. This is your host Savio and today we'll be learning about how to create a Jira instance and how to delete a Jira instance. On top of it, we'll be also be discussing how to create a backup before we delete our Jira instance. Stay tuned. So in the context of Jira, a Jira instance refers to a single installation of Jira software. It can be either of two ways. First is going to be a cloud based, which is hosted by Atlassian. Second can be a server based, which is hosted by a company's own server. But as we have already discussed in our previous videos that Atlassian is going to remove support for the server one. So we'll be discussing about cloud based Jira instance. So without any delay, let's just quickly jump to the Atlassian website that is the www.atlassian.com. Over there, we will be clicking on try now, which is an option at the top of the uh, website. And this is the official website. So we'll click on try now in order to get a Jira instance of our own. And here is the uh, list of all the products that Atlassian has to offer. And it says try cloud as discussed, we'll be discussing about the cloud instances. We'll click on try cloud. Once done, it says Jira software has been selected it also asks us to add the second product uh, but for this demonstration purpose we will be selecting only Jira software as we are doing this for Jira software this process applies to each and every product offered by Atlassian so we'll be clicking next as it also says no credit card is required which is a good thing that means we can get the instance for free we will be clicking next and it says you know get started and free up to 10 users so i'll quickly sign up with a uh, with my google okay so this is the email id that i'll be going ahead with uh, in order to uh, create a new jira instance or a new atlassian profile uh, for getting a new jira instance so i'll click create your account Once I hit create account, it asks for a site name, which is going to be the email address for our Jira instance. So I'll be keeping the site name as rolling prophecy, which is the email address itself. And you can see a green tick. That means this site is available. We'll click on agree. Okay. It asks us about uh, the type of team uh, that we work in. So let's just skip this question for the time being. And what's your role? Again, we're going to skip this question for the time being and uh, uh, more details about the main task that we'll be doing. But you know, skipping this question. Okay. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to set up our instance. Let's just give it a minute and I'll be back with you once it's done. So almost after a minute, our site is up and it again asks some couple of questions. So I'll be skipping this for now. So now it asked me to set up a new project and this is going to be my first project and I have even named my first project as my first project and uh, uh, the templates that we'll be selecting is the Kanban one and it says team managed project but we'll be selecting the company managed project and we'll be creating this project and we'll hit create project. Once this is done, it asks us to you know integrate some uh, application but we won't be doing that right now. We'll just skip it. And it asks us to invite some team members, but I don't want to invite because this for the demo purposes. Okay, so here we are in our Jira instance. And this is the landing page for the project. And as mentioned, uh, this is my first project. The name of the project itself is my first project. So we have created a new Jira instance for ourselves with the uh, URL of rollingprophecy.atlassian.net, which is a new Jira instance. And uh, let's just quickly navigate to the landing page for this Jira uh, instance, which is this one. And in order to create a backup uh, for this Jira instance, suppose that we have so many projects on this one and it's always recommended to create backup before deleting any Jira instance. And in order to create a backup, we'll navigate to the setting wheel, which is on the navigation bar uh, on the Jira instance. We'll click on the setting and we'll navigate to the systems option, which is under Jira settings. Once we are in Jira setting, we'll look for the option. It says import and export on the left side uh, of the Jira setting page, wherein we'll find the option of backup manager. Under backup manager, we'll find the option of backing up uh, the instances that uh, goes by the option of cloud instance and server instance. But as discussed earlier, we are using cloud instance. But if in case you are using a server, you can you know create your backup from uh, the second option over here, create 
backup for but as we are on a cloud version we'll be uh, selecting this option of creating backup for cloud and it also have a checkbox where it says include attachments avatars and logos in this backup and we definitely gonna include all of them i know that there is not much data on this instance but just for the demonstration purposes we have selected this checkbox and we'll be hitting on uh, create backup for cloud so once we click on create backup for cloud, this is the progress bar that appears and it says, you know, it's going to take up to 30 minutes. Let's see how, how much time it's going to take to uh, create a backup. So the backup has started. It's now collecting all the data and it has completed and we get the option of download cloud backup. Let's just click on that one. Okay. Uh, it was so easy. It says uh, we have a data of uh, 105 KB, uh, which is no surprise because we do not have any uh, information or any data on this instance. But yeah, that is how we can create backup for our Jira instance. So now as we have created the backup and we have downloaded the backup file for our Jira cloud instance and in order to import uh, import this backup that we have just downloaded to a new instance, we'll navigate again to the uh, settings option on this navigation bar from this cog wheel and we'll navigate to system setting. Under system setting, we'll navigate to import and export. Underneath that, we'll be navigating to import Jira cloud. If you have backup from the Jira server, you can click on import Jira server but as our backup was for Jira cloud we'll be clicking on import Jira cloud and once we click on Jira import cloud it gives us some options wherein we need to select the file that we uh, created in the backup and once it's done we can you know click on import data and everything that was backed up from uh, the previous Jira instance will now be backed up or will be imported uh, to this new Jira instance. Okay, good. So now we know how to create a backup for our Jira instance. Now, in order to delete a Jira instance, we'll navigate to this cog wheel again, which is on the navigation bar. And under that, we'll navigate to billing section. So once we click on a billing section, it populates on a new tab. And under the products tab, we find the option of uh, the billing preview. And uh, we'll be landing to the page of Atlassian admin. And uh, as you can see for the rolling prophecy .net, which is the uh, latest Jira instance that we created right now in this video and it says we have only one product that is Jira software in order to delete this instance or this Jira instance we need to navigate to manage subscription and once I click on manage subscription a new tab populates uh, with the active subscription list and you can see under the active subscription we only have Jira software for this particular Jira instance and you'll find the option of three dots over here next to manage users under the three dots we'll click and we'll find the option of delete or get support. And for this video, as we are discussing about how to delete a Jira instance, this is where we delete the Jira instance or the Jira software uh, from this Atlassian instance that was rolling prophecy.atlassian.net. Okay, so we are under a new page wherein it says cancel your subscription, canceling your rolling prophecy subscription, which was our Jira instance. And it says to type in confirm in order to confirm that we literally are uh, willing to delete this instance. Once we type confirm, it asks us to select an option why we want to uh, close this particular instance. And let's just select other uh, demo purpose and uh, cancel subscription. Okay, great. So now we have canceled our subscription and uh, you can see over here subscription successfully cancelled and this is how you delete your Jira instance and as you have stayed until now there is an another thing that I want to give it to you guys as we have deleted a Jira instance or the Jira software product for the uh, website that is the uh, rollingprophecy.atlassian.net now I'll also teach you how to delete the entire organization by entire organization I mean for this Jira instance there can be multiple products let's say uh, there was Jira software confluence and Jira service desk as well so first we'll be deleting each of the subscription from here and we'll be navigating to settings option and under 
the details part will be getting the option of delete organization that means entire rolling prophecy dot atlassian dot net will be gone so once we cl click on delete organization this is where we delete the everything that is within the url of rolling prophecy dot atlassian dot net I've also uploaded a blog on my LinkedIn channel on what is Jira instance, how to create, backup and import and delete the Jira instance. The link is in the bio. Please feel free to review and let me know how you feel about this video. See you on the next one.